The M1 A2 Abrams tank, an iconic symbol of military power, stands as the pride and joy of the U.S. Army and to the continuous evolution of armored warfare technology. Introduced in 1980 and named after General Creighton W. Abrams Jr., this machine has undergone significant advancements, with the M1A2 representing a true firepower in the United States Army's arsenal. To understand the M1A2 Abrams, we must first explore its origins. But before we continue with the video, please hit that like and subscribe button so we can deliver more interesting content like this. Authorized for production in 1990, the M1A2 is a technological evolution of the M1A1, retaining the basic design while incorporating innovative features that position it as the world's most advanced main battle tank. Visually resembling the M1A1, the M1A2's most notable changes are cosmetic, including a redesigned Commander's Weapon Station, or CWS, and an independent Commander's Thermal Viewer positioned on the left side of the turret in front of the loading hatch. However, the true innovations lie within the tank's internal components. The M1A2 has been fundamentally redesigned to harness modern technologies effectively. The focus now shifts to understanding how this machine operates, with an emphasis on the M1A2 Abrams. The tank's physical dimensions contribute significantly to its effectiveness on the battlefield. Standing at 8 feet tall, 32 feet long, and 12 feet wide, the M1A2's weight of 62 U.S. tons underscores its robust construction. Despite its substantial weight, the tank can achieve impressive speeds of up to 42 miles per hour, facilitated by the potent AGT-1500 engine located at the rear. The engine itself represents an evolution of engineering. Designed to run on various fuels, including kerosene, the turbine engine operates quietly, a crucial feature to maintain the tank's stealth on the battlefield. Unlike traditional piston engines found in cars, the M1A2 employs a turbine engine, operating similarly to a jet engine in an airplane. The ability to lift the entire engine out of the tank for repairs shows the tank's practical design, allowing for efficient maintenance and ensuring optimal performance. The cooling units flanking the engine play a pivotal role in dissipating the heat generated during operation. As the engine operates at hot temperatures, effective cooling is essential to prevent overheating. The exhaust, released from the rear, requires careful consideration to maintain a clean operational environment and avoid revealing the tank's location to potential adversaries. Moving on to the external features, the M1A2 exhibits a combination of tracks, wheels, a main body, and a rotating turret. The tracks, often referred to as tank treads or caterpillars, play a crucial role in the tank's mobility, allowing it to navigate challenging terrains. With seven impellers on each side, along with a raised idler wheel at the front and a drive sprocket at the rear, the tracks allow the tank to move seamlessly. The wheels, equipped with suspension, ensure a smooth ride for the crew inside the tank. While the tank's tracks provide exceptional mobility, they are also susceptible to damage. Constructed from steel with replaceable rubber pads, these tracks ensure the tank's stability and enable it to overcome obstacles with ease. Equipped with suspension, the tank's wheels can adapt to the contours of the terrain, providing a smooth ride for the crew. The turret, rotating once every nine seconds, serves as the main point for the tank's offensive capabilities. Housing a 122-meter smoothbore gun, the main armament of the M1A2, the turret also features a coaxial machine gun and smoke grenade launchers on either side. The 120-millimeter gun, firing shells at approximately 3,500 miles per hour, can accurately hit targets up to two miles away. An automatic stabilizer ensures precise targeting even when traversing rough terrain, eliminating the need to halt the tank for accurate shots. The hull serves as the main body of the M1A2 Abrams tank and is critical for structural integrity and housing essential components. It can withstand several types of threats, including ballistic projectiles, artillery, and anti-tank guided missiles. The layered armor system combines materials like depleted uranium and steel, the shape of the hull is carefully designed for both defensive and mobility purposes. 
the sloped and angled surfaces of the hull can deflect incoming projectiles, minimizing the impact and increasing the tank's survivability on the battlefield. The crew, consisting of four members, operates in a confined yet efficient space within the turret. The commander, gunner, and loader work in tandem to ensure the tank's optimal functionality. The commander, with a 360-degree view through a viewing window, oversees the battlefield, while the loader swiftly accesses and loads shells into the main gun during combat situations. The turret and its hull's robust construction provides a secure environment for the crew, keeping them safe during battle. Beyond the battlefield, understanding the tank's logistical aspects contributes to a comprehensive overview. With a fuel capacity of just under 500 gallons, the tank's fuel efficiency is about 6 miles per gallon. The M1A2's gas-efficient nature is lightened by its heavy and powerful design, allowing it to maintain operational effectiveness. Further specifications show off the tank's capabilities. Its ability to rotate in place while aiming at a target, along with the inclusion of a small coaxial machine gun and smoke grenade launchers, enhances its versatility in various combat scenarios. The crew's strategic placement within the tank, along with provisions for communication through a phone at the rear, considers both the offensive and the defensive aspects. As with any military technology, the M1A2 Abrams have evolved through different versions. The M1, M1A1, and M1A2 represent significant milestones in this evolutionary process. While newer versions may be heavier and slower, advancements in armor, electronics, and weapon systems compensate for these characteristics. This vulnerability is eased up by the inclusion of tools and spare parts on the tank, allowing for on-the-spot repairs. The ability to replace a broken link swiftly ensures that the tank remains operational even in the face of potential damage to its tracks. Armored plates, known as side skirts, protect the vehicle and tracks from damage. These side skirts can be opened in sections to facilitate access for maintenance and repairs. The tank's lighting system, including a headlight at the front, ensures visibility during nighttime operations. Four hooks on the back of the tank serve practical purposes, aiding in various scenarios, such as transportation and recovery. In conclusion, the M1A2 Abrams tank stands as an evolution of military engineering, seamlessly integrating advanced technology, firepower, and protective features. Its evolution from the original M1 to the M1A1 and the M1A2 is a commitment to continuous improvement and adaptation to the evolving nature of warfare. As technology advances and military strategies evolve, the M1A2 Abrams remains a symbol of the United States Army's dedication to maintaining superiority in ground combat. The tank's ability to navigate diverse terrains, engage targets accurately, and protect its crew positions it as a cornerstone in modern armored warfare. The ongoing development of armored vehicles and the integration of the most advanced technologies will undoubtedly shape the future of tank warfare, but the legacy of the M1A2 Abrams as a groundbreaking and versatile main battle tank endures. Please give us your thoughts about this finely made machinery in the comments section down below, and thank you for watching our channel.